In this video, I will show you how to view the NTFS uh, effective permissions on files and folders. Um, what the effective permissions are, are basically what permissions a user or group has to an object. And there's a couple of factors that determine that. Uh, the user's group membership, uh, inherited permissions, nested group, uh, explicit deny permissions, and uh, local um, object access. So let's jump over to PC here and I'll show you a typical setup. So this is helpful when you're wanting to troubleshoot uh, network share, file or folder access, or um, just to verify uh, the correct permissions are set on files and folders. So Got a computer here, and this is pretty typical environments where I've got a map drive to a department folder. Um, this example is called HR. So within HR, I've got um, several folders here. Uh, folder one, supervisor training. So typically I would have an HR full group. This would give the users uh, that are members of this group uh, modifier rights to the HR network share. And I have, would have an HR read-only security group. This would give the, the members of this group read and execute. And then um, a lot of times the users and departments want a specific folder locked down to only a few users. So uh, I would create an additional security group um, and lock this folder down to where only members of, um, in this example, I've got a supervisor group. So only members of this group can access that HR folder. So uh, as network shares and uh, grow, permissions get more complicated, and then you've got users wanting you to um, verify who has access. So this is where we can use uh, the NTFS effective permissions to verify users have certain rights. So let me jump over to file server okay on my file server here I'm gonna go pull up that network share on this server this is where that share is hosted so let's just go verify so to pull up the effect of permissions we'll let's go to the folder right click on it properties security and then advanced and effective access and this is on a Windows Server 2016 uh, those steps are very similar on previous versions um, Windows 2012 uh, even Windows 7 has an effective access tab it'll look a little different but to get there um, and the functionality is all the same so I've got the HR full HR read only and HR supervisor folder so let's just verify Um, a user of the HR read only. Let's just verify their access. So I've got a user Sam Rogers. And then we'll just click on view effective access. And I would expect to see that they only have read and execute permissions. So that looks correct. They can read. They cannot modify, they cannot create files, they can't write, they can't delete, they have read permissions. So that looks that looks good. So as you can see here, this is a, a way to verify, um, kind of an audit really, is to um, check somebody's access. So now, I want to check a user that is in the HR4 group. Selecting the wrong thing. Okay, and I would expect to see that Dan 
has full access because he's a member of the HR full group. And that looks correct. Or you should have modify. I, I don't uh, I don't set up permissions for full control. If you do, then users can take ownership of files and basically do whatever they want with them. So uh, do not give full control, but give modify. That that will give users rights to do what they need to do. They can write, they can read, they can um, modify files. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. But now um, I've got that supervisor folder that should only be locked down to uh, the users of the supervisor folder. If you remember, that was a folder under the network share of the HR folder. So it's a subfolder under there called supervisor. So members of HR full, members of HR read only should not have access to it. So let's go verify that. Uh, I've got a man, uh, user, Amanda, that is a member of that supervisor folder. So let's view her effective access. And yes, she does have uh, modify rights to it. So now let's check somebody that is not a member of that group. I'll do Dan again. Dan was a member of the HR full. And it's showing Dan does have access. So something is set up incorrectly. Um, that is giving Dan access. So a way we can uh, troubleshoot that is by um, checking Dan's groups and then we can see if those groups have access to that folder. So Dan's a member of, the only group he's a member of is HR full. So I can go put in the HR full group access and it's showing that the HR full group has access so let's jump over to the HR folder and then the supervisor folder and let's look at the security settings on here and sure enough HR full um, has been set up for permissions on this folder which is not how it um, it was intended to be so let's fix that and then we'll go back and verify the effective access so I'm just going to remove the HR full because I don't want anybody in that group the only people I want access to is the HR supervisor folder so I'm going to remove HR full and apply and OK And just a little tip here, if you, um, for subfolders, when you change the permissions, it's going to inherit the uh, parent, which is the root HR folder. So when you want to modify these, you're going to have to disable inheritance, which I've already done, so I don't need to do that. But um, just keep that in mind. If you wanted to modify subfolders, they will, by default, inherit permissions from the root, and you'll need to disable inheritance. Okay, so let me just double check. So yes, HR full group is gone. So let's go back and run the effective permissions again. So got Dan Warner. Okay, so I ran this again for Dan and then you can see now that he does not have access. So let me just Verify that with the HR full group. And yes, so now this looks correct. The members of HR full do not have access. The only users that have access are members of the supervisor group. So, so that wraps up this video. Um, this was a pretty simple file structure. I have seen some really crazy um, file structures with uh, users requesting to have folders locked down that are, you know, 10 levels deep. So within supervisor, they'd have another folder and then another folder within that, and they want that locked down. 
So that just becomes a nightmare to, to manage and difficult to keep track of who has access and it's easily you can easily give access to the wrong people so that's where again the uh, the effective file effective access ntf permissions uh, comes in handy to to quickly check who has access to files and folders so 